To any fellow YouTubers or just regular people, you ever get involved in a situation you think isn't all that much, but then you look deeper and find a rabbit hole of infighting, passing blame, a telephone game of lies, past friends turning enemies over those lies, a community forming to go against someone over those lies, and eventually it all colliding into a really confusing video that you didn't know how to start? Yeah, I thought you did. To most sane people on the internet, you'd expect a certain level of class in some communities when dramas get started over others. For example, you wouldn't really expect the beauty community to have as much infighting as the commentary community. But oh, oh, you'd be so very goddamn wrong. As a partial commentator myself, I've gotten to see this truth for years, and one of the most divisive communities I never expected to come across was the Minecraft community. I mean, of course, how could you think the videos created by calm British men explaining their next build could only be the beginning of a deep, dark abyss into perversion, sexual exploitation, backstabbing divorce, and all the other shit bound to happen on the newest Law & Order episode. In a previous video, I went into detail on the odd ups and downs of Sky Does Everything's career, but this is completely different. This video is only centering around one upstart drama that people are still trying to get going centering around a creator called Sam Gladiator. For anyone who knows Sam, he's a 1.5 million sub Minecraft role-playing channel that's been around for around eight years. His most popular roleplay center around a Minecraft version of Yandere Simulator and an old roleplay on Five Nights at Freddy's. Besides that, he's played games like Happy Wheels, Who's Your Daddy, Regular Yandere Simulator, and other various games, but he's been completely inactive for several months and inconsistent for the past few years following a disinterest with the channel as a whole. He only really came back to Minecraft content for a month or two because of lockdown, so for the most part, you could say his channel is mostly not in use at the moment beyond archiving his own videos. Offline, he's been up to acting in various international TV shows and modeling, so it appears he's mostly left YouTube behind him for greener pastures, but something seemed to keep pulling him back in. Seemingly out of nowhere, a bunch of accusations started popping up out of nowhere accusing Sam of various bad actions, until I was eventually contacted by someone to make a video about him myself. Obviously, Obviously I'm doing that, uh, just most likely not how they would have wanted me to, but we can get to my involvement later. For the moment, I want to try and explain how someone that seems as unlikely to get into drama as Sam Gladiator would end up in its clutches. Since actually getting in contact and talking with Sam about everything, he and I have pieced together the many scattered fragments of accusations into a cohesive narrative that all starts back on his Discord server during the BLM protests and riots. Before I talk about this, however, I should say that Sam is a person that hates cancel culture and doesn't want to contribute to it. He tried calling out some of the people involved on one occasion, but had since thought he had cleared everything up and deleted it, so the names are going to be blurred out as most of the people involved are underage. Basically, Person A, Person B, and Sam were talking about BLM, and he disagreed with the burning down of buildings and homes that had nothing to do with the situation to begin with. Now, I'm not going to get into the BLM protests following the unjustified death of George Floyd. That's a completely separate topic from this one, but in the context of the situation, we we do have to acknowledge that not all protests in his name were successful in making the movement look good. Some outright looted, burned, and accidentally killed others while destroying private property and in some cases ruining local businesses that couldn't pay for the damages. Does that represent the movement as a whole? Definitely not. And despite what some others might claim further down the line, Sam never says this either. He's just a guy that's worried for his friends in Minnesota who are in danger as those protests got more and more out of hand, even leading to multiple deaths. Sam got justifiably upset at these people trying to defend the riots and one person even claimed that it was okay to burn down a house, so he kicked them from the server. After this, person A went on some servers calling Sam a liar, and that he was only villainizing protesters. It was a whole thing, but Sam and person A eventually were able to talk, and they worked out a piece after hearing each other out in a calm fashion. The same goes for person B. Unfortunately, that wasn't even nearly the end, as during the arguments about BLM, Sam had also gotten a few members of his crew taken out of the Discord, and one of them, person C, started spreading more rumors. Of the people in the server, However, Person C claimed that everyone who supported the riots and made those sort of claims were only joking. Sam argued, however, that could still be seen as inciting people to riot. If you ask me, in the case where you have to ask whether or not something like that, which could cause serious consequences, is a joke, you're probably better off just not defending it. After their conversations in several Discord messages and groups, he claimed that Sam was manipulative and only continued to bring all of this up often simply for attention. His reason for calling Sam manipulative, he apparently made multiple people on his team cry 
cry and talked about the drama after saying he wouldn't mention it if they didn't. But this was actually just a single person whose only reason for quote crying was because Sam didn't support burning down homes. On the second claim, not only can it be shown that Sam has said almost nothing about it publicly, and in the cases where he has, he's deleted it because the person involved apologized to him at first, but also that same person who Sam mentioned in a tweet was the one who would go on to continue talking about it after everything had thought to have been resolved, not Sam himself. Before getting into everything with that person, however, let's discuss how this entire drama came to be on Twitter and Tumblr. The first post inciting people that Sam could find was from someone called Catboy Grian, claiming Sam had told a fan to end their life out of context and definitely not serious, been manipulative, definitely not true, told several racist jokes when referring to fish people not liking frog people in a series, not actual racist and other such claims without any evidence. I only mention this person's name, as they've since changed their account and we still don't actually know who they may be. This tweet was made about a week after Sam and Person C originally had resolved everything, but Person C, still being upset and holding on to resentment, went into a few Discord servers and vented, pretending everything was still ongoing, to cause people to uproariously call out Sam. Person C, in this instance, didn't seem to intentionally try and slander Sam, but it should be documented nonetheless. Beyond Person C, there's Person D. D. Person D is someone that has disliked Sam for a while, even though they were part of his crew five years ago, and we have evidence of them spreading plenty of rumors on a server themselves. It's implied these rumors were spread to them by a mix of Person C and the others that spread misinfo, but nonetheless, it's important to address them in case others take them seriously. We were able to get all this as the server owner was another of the people we got to show evidence to and convince were lies. Since then, they've also been very helpful in disseminating info that helped us piece things together quite nicely. Back to the allegations, among Person D's claims, they believed Sam is someone that manipulates his fans into believing his principles and then attacking those that go against him. This can all just be chalked up to Sam talking to many of those making accusations about him and convincing them with evidence that it isn't true. Hell, I got invited to the server right before my first talk with Sam and they claimed he was evil but charismatic. Being able to turn people to his side like he uses some kind of fucking Jedi mind trick. Within the same conversation, another person mentions he blames Tortoise like three times for stuff, and that's a whole nother thing. Basically, one of the claims about Sam is that in a video four years ago, he made a joke about sexual assault. The thing is, beyond it being incredibly old, Sam's channel not being a channel made for kids, and this only being an implied joke rather than one that was in any way outright stated, Sam didn't actually make the joke. That was Tortoise, someone that many of these people are a fan of. Where's the, where are they taking him? I think oh, they're, another they're room. Taking him in there. Ah. He's always so popular with the torturers. Yeah. What are they doing to him? I don't know. Grian, are you okay in there? Oh my god! No! Uh, oh, he's having ah! so much fun! Oh, oh god. Ah! What are they doing? Sam never blamed Tortoise for anything. He just stated who actually did the joke in the video. Person C had claimed before that Sam was constantly trying to get Tortoise involved, but that isn't really the case either. It's just the small explanation Sam gave being blown out of proportion. He also believes Tortoise did nothing wrong in the situation and even found the joke funny. Person D goes on to claim that Sam only asked to VC with certain people because he wanted there to be less evidence of screenshots and so he could manipulate the situation more. I was told this as well before my chat with him, but upon asking whether or not I could record our conversation for clarity, he immediately was fine with it. Past that, let's get into the bit of these screenshots that brings us into the next stage of all this. That screenshot relating to person E. Basically, the server owner we eventually befriended after showing evidence to was having a conversation with person D before we'd spoken to them. Within, they told person D about someone Sam called out for attempting to bait him into something, calling it out of context. And person D saying that it was normal for Sam, claiming he did something similar when he made a racist comment, but he shows no proof of it in messages and Sam has never been like that. Again, it's most likely about fish people not liking frog people. Very compelling stuff. In all truth, person E did really come off as trying to bait Sam into something. To explain, they're the person that originally contacted me about making a video on him or some kind of call-out post. Their only arguments for doing so were the implied sexual assault jokes and him calling them out on Twitter, saying Sam took a joke seriously just to send his fans after them. They sent me several screenshots after saying that with nothing that incriminating, so I said I'd make a Twitter thread about it, and even when I made it for them, I still didn't think it was really call-out worthy. That's why I wasn't really all that serious in the call-out. After talking to Sam and working everything out, I deleted it, and he gave me a few of the screenshots Person E left out, including the supposedly out-of-context moment itself. Basically, Person E, as a minor, asked Sam about his sex life and if he was a virgin. Sam was understandably distraught about this, Person E continued to try and put 
push, Sam wasn't having it, and so he made the tweet, thinking they were baiting him to try and collect non-existent evidence of something sexual. After getting in contact with other people who knew Person E and convincing them to be on Sam's side, they shared screenshots of their own conversations where it's confirmed Person E was trying to bait him and that this wasn't a joke at all. Despite this, at the time, Sam thought he had made up with the person, so within a few hours of making the tweet, he took it back down, but then they only went on to continue shit-talking him. This brings us to the modern era of the various stacked up Sam accusations, where things get even more out of hand. On Tumblr, various accounts were calling Sam out for stuff, but most of it was either unfounded or not nearly as serious as they claimed. One of those people, who Person E linked a Tumblr post of to me, deleted their original post after I came to Sam's side, and they made two follow-ups. One post says they were lied to about some things, but still aren't really on Sam's side, thinking he can quote, change, but it comes off a bit disingenuous when right below it it says, fuck you Sam, fuck Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, go fuck yourself. Another post thinks Sam makes homophobic jokes and such, then they go on to claim the content contained pedophilia because, quote, the trio is often stalked by a creepy man who makes comments about them being fresh meat or large thighs. And that's obviously a joke on characters like Herbert the Pervert from Family Guy, you know, uh, a show that's made for people around the same age as the YouTube requirements? Are you for real? Furthermore, remember that time I mentioned Sam was against those people during riots burning down shit and harming people? Well, somehow that translated to, quote, according to an ex-member of his Discord, he claimed that people who support BLM or ACAB are terrorists. I've already shown the screenshots, so you can tell this isn't the case. The post also claims Sam was aware that his audience is mostly children. If you look at Sam's content, he's always been someone that makes edgy jokes, and besides Minecraft, most of the games he's played have been pretty violent and R-rated. Even many of his thumbnails don't exactly scream kid-friendly. He marks all of his videos as not for kids. If you look on YouTube Kids, his actual videos can't be found if you look him up. Does he have several young fans? Sure, but he doesn't market himself that way for the most part. We also have to acknowledge YouTube in general is a 13 plus site. Someone else was on Twitter showing this one clip where he says it's a kid's show. I'll get to rape, rape and rape, rape are two different words. <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's not be too creepy, this is a kid's show. But that clip is taken out of context as he makes that joke all the time after he does non-child appropriate things. Basically, there's almost no argument here. The final Tumblr post I found once again called him transphobic for referring to a male playing a female character as it, and this doesn't even seem to be trans stuff, it just sort of sounds like a joke where he doesn't know what to call them. He's apparently ableist for using the quote R word and other stuff that doesn't hold much weight or is misinterpreted from a series. I mentioned this to him and he can't even remember at any time saying that word. It may not be the greatest argument, but I feel like it would have to take a lot of digging to find him ever even saying it. Also, even if it can be found, just saying that word does not make someone ableist. I've pretty much addressed everything else in the post other than the apparent doxing of minors by going into a server and quote, harassing them, when really he was just having a debate with them and was invited into multiple servers by fans to resolve the false allegations and confusion, and sometimes he was even invited by the owner of the server. Look, here Here's evidence of them having work stuff out even. Also, even if he was harassing people, that's not equitable to doxing them. What is this post even saying? Anyway, yeah, as you can see, a lot of people on Tumblr were against him for all these lies and small things blown out of proportion. The same thing happened on Twitter with people like Person E contacting me. Another person continued to push the same narrative in the beginning, but I got them to talk to Sam and they worked it out. Another called him bad and inadvertently gave me evidence to disprove the comment about him harassing and doxing boxing miners. They also mentioned they thought it was inappropriate for him to make jokes that are edgy on a Minecraft roleplay, but Sam was really the first person to actually use the term Minecraft roleplay and make it popular. The only other video that I could find that was even a little bit older was Caveman Films by like three days. He's always been edgy in some ways, so it's not that Minecraft roleplays are kid-friendly and he's out of the norm, it's that he was one of the originators of it and others became kid-friendly over time. As another small note, of the four that contacted me on Twitter, two had the same banner stating, Sam Gladiator, do not interact, fuck off, as if he was stalking them, which is another thing that a lot of people think is happening, but 
why would he do that to begin with with such small accounts? It's so weirdly deep-seated, and I wasn't the only person that was contacted about making a video on this entire bit of nothing. Creepshow Art has been repeatedly sent messages asking them to do a video on the subject, but she realized the accusations weren't fair and went directly to Sam about it. A few others have also been asked and all talked to Sam, leading to nothing coming of it. Thankfully, no one big has been hungry enough to go off and make a video about Sam on this non-existent drama, and I want it to stay that way. Sam doesn't like cancel culture. This whole situation could have been handled differently and ended much better much earlier, but the past can't be changed. At the least, him, I, and several other people who got caught up in the drama were able to figure out what was going on, we made a timeline of events and accusations, several people have since made up with Sam and are cool with him, and I made this video to clear it up to anyone who may in the future be sent these allegations. Get in contact with the people being accused of stuff when you can. It could lead to a massive rabbit hole like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.